Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy of all the praises. Lord, you are worthy of all the praises. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, may your word bring any form of correction that has to happen. Lord, we pray for revival where it has to happen. Let it happen in the name Let any form of repentance. Mapilong aro nam mudimuaka tatin laka jeno any character eu isinge mapilong aro nam eu mudimurasa irating hobateng ayo nam raela la kalibito la je swana zareta haike sute mapilong aro nam ubane rata u khatisa mudimuaka moya waruna ure e uwe nam moya waruna ure e uwe na luse ngona mudimuaka. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, In the name of Jesus. Let honor and glory mo di mo aka di libi se libi to la hao le khete ile lo se ngaka jeno ka libi to la Jesus wa Nazareth ka libi to la Jesus Thank you Lord Jesus may be seated in the presence of the living God o ka dula fatse bo demba mo di mo phela se a dinyelele ke sene wana mhlanje be greeted this morning to all the saints in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the wonderful day made by the Lord. I sense people are so hungry for prayer. I sense such a hunger for prayer. But then my something more now as I sense that. Holy Spirit says this that I must remind you in your hunger of prayer that you are making a communion with the Lord. And now never miss the importance as you do that communion. That you move out of that communion as if it is normal. You know, being in a space where prayer is like motivated to get a hand. You, you can pray and pray without break. But the Chicks of the matter. It is when you get out of that space. That's where the real thing happens. So I urge you. This is what the Holy Spirit says to me. Never lose that moment that you leave this place. Of the words that you are uttering to God. Walk with those words. Wear your garment. That garment with it's your bulletproof. And it will take you far. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. Amen. The Lord is good. Look at me. I just sense to, 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 to say this again. That was said to me after the service in Letabo. I don't want to put her on the spot. Put Anthony. Um, she said this way as we were closing in Letabo last week. Um, she came with her husband to me and said this. Um, as you were closing in prayer there. I 
saw a, 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 a congress or a congregation of angels. And as I see this, a voice came from heaven. And the word says, I am going to make Letabong great. Do not despise the small beginnings. For the eyes of the Lord rejoice to see the work begin. If there's a space where I want to be, it's always when there's something new beginning. Not a political party, but it's something that God starts. Because politicians depend on us, actually. If you are busy complaining about what is happening in the country, actually a complaining about what you are doing as a Christian. Because it is your assignment to change the It's not the president's work. ANC or any political party. It is the work of the church. So, if South Africa is corrupted the way we are That is how corrupt the church is. Because we are sitting on our laurels and we are not changing the country. Now we have something that doesn't need anyone to carry. It is carried by the angels for us. We send the word of power and things change. But we don't use that power. Oh, may the Lord help us. Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome anyone new that came in after announcements we made. Are you here? Maybe you can speak of me. May I see your hand? Even on Facebook, YouTube, if it's for your first time, seeing us here, you are welcome. You are at the right place. You are not lost. Hallelujah. Amen. So that let me quickly start with this one so my close word. Yes, let me start with this one. Can you see it? Lairata. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, Linyalo. I keep on the ring, I keep on the next one. I believe in the living God. And wherever I am, there is a marriage, a wedding. That one, I agree. Wherever I am, there's a marriage. Whoever wants to get married, come to Shiny Light. I don't care of your age. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. No, on a serious note, I have anointing of yes, marriage. And no one can steal it. And I still believe in marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. So put your shining light. Now shining light congregation. Someone is brave enough to invite the entire congregation. Do you understand how you are inviting the congregation? So we are cordially invited to the September the 23rd. That will be on September the 23rd. I believe it's not enough. Look at the 24th. Even also on the 24th, it's still carrying on. So, so 23 wedding. September and 24th September. 23rd, 24th. So, remember more the young la Arnold Rapela. We are invited to the wedding of Arnold Rapela. We can practice the little bit of the hope to get the sound. Le aus Langotani Mabas. And sister Langotani Mabas. Let's make him out. Do you know who is that? King one of our MC Warone. Ah. Emma Mebo. That's the 
Stand up so they will see you. Yes. So yes. her daughter is getting married. Amen. 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 Just ate cake today. So Roja and one hour house. Now we are going to eat this side. <laughs> and anyone else who wants to get married, come quickly. Come, come so we may bless you. To find the real person. Bring them first at Galadina. So all the men who shall bring anyone in the Galadina. Oh, okay, Tavela. Come and bring the Galadina. I will know that you are the real person. I will know that this thing is very soon. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so let's pray. Let's pray for them, Sister Julia and the daughter. That the Lord may bless them so they are working together. Marriage is the Lord, it's not a man. And, uh, and so shall it remain. Amen. Amen. Now we we are busy with our series uh, uh, on the second part of it. Actually. That uh, be a Christian. Christ. I wish I could say being a Christian. And, and, and now in that kitchen, when I started that. I'm knocking I'm not talking to sinners. I'm talking to those who say born again by Christ. Those who say they are the Christians. Just to remind you, I ask you, Wikiman, that is your favorite musician in R and B, all those kind of things. Who's your favorite artist secular music? Then what, what is your favorite verse in the Bible? Is there anyone who's got a favorite verse in the Bible? Tsepi. How? Tsepi, you can now appeal. You know, so really key old diet. So, so we have favorite things. But let me tell you this. In Christianity, there is nothing that says you must favor this or like this. It's either you are a Christian or you are a sinner. End of story. It settles it. That is why I'm bringing this series to the Christians. If it happens as I bring this news, that any demonic spirit manifests, it is because the Lord wants to deliver you. Are we clear? So God doesn't deliver sinners. Delivers those who are Christians and who are possessed. But the Lord saves the sinners. Keep it up. Yes, please. I say the Lord. Who deliver? He delivers all local. The Christians who are possessed by the Spirit. But the same God says a sinner. Then when our police and if you say you are saved, it means you have been removed from danger. But do not be surprised How else that the demonic spirit might manifest in you. You need the help that you may be held. So I'm talking to the Christians. And now today we, we, we speak on uh, 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 two things. There is this that is called a service. I tried it. It doesn't explain clearly the movement. Yes. But I found it. It's not what I wanted to use. The movement. So, 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 it, it, because now the, 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 the direct translation to, to that weight, it will be. 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 It
It's, a, it's an organization. So what we're talking about something. Because now here we're talking about ministry or movement. Now when we talk in about the word movement in this instance, we are talking about people that are together we mean and move in the same direction, believing into the same thing. But how it is as to bring it to I see the what we want to achieve today. So we'll use the word Now we will use these two words a service or the movement. So now a, a, a ministry mindset. Ministry. It says, what is it are we doing? And in, in, in that question, our sense what is it that are we doing? Gula focus here to its own it is where but how is their program look like? Where the worshippers worship well for us. Is the appearance what we like? That's what ministry mindset says. And it's a good thing. But when you step into a movement, is to release authority and responsibility. Is to release authority and responsibility. And I believe God is calling a church unto that place. More than million ringe we carry the local carry. We carry the la hat the local carry. Lo seven is to to carry the mudi magu films all. Authority that God has given unto us. And we are already in that as shining light. I want you to. Look at this. We released a prophet stole to go and serve the Lord as the Lord leads him. As I minister, he is ministering in Pumalanga. As I'm busy ministering, he is ministering in Litabo. God has called this church to be a church that is in the move. Lord, we assign your angels over your servants. As they are in Letabong and in Pumalanga, oh Lord, Jesus. we pray your peace. Yes, Lord. Give them strength that they need. Lord, I pray breakthrough in every word that they utter in, in that space. May your anointing be upon their lips this morning. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you for the move that you have placed in shining light. Thank you, Jesus. Honor and glory belongs to you in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. So we are a church that is in the move. So let's read together in the book of Matthew 28. We, we read 16 to 20. Then we'll go again into the book of Luke 9 to so Matthew 28, the main theme is Great Commission there. Then it reads thus. Then 11 disciples went to Galilee. To the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Let me say to you, as we move, as we plant churches, we will worship the Lord. But there will be those that are doubting for the sake of what they know about us. But never lose hope. As I never lose hope. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of 
all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and on the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I'm with you always. To the very end of the age. All authority go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them. Teach them to obey some of the things. No. Okay. All things I have commanded. Then let's read Luke 9 verse 1 to 2. Luke 9 verse 1 to 2. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Uh, you need to understand this. He called the twelve. Give them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. That is the business of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not business of something that I must carry. But it is the business of the Lord Jesus that I be able to drive out the demons and to cure the diseases. Okay? Then he sent them out to proclaim. You know, when, when I was in, in, in correctional services, when a, a prisoner comes and um, maybe tell us something that we're not aware. We don't, there's this lingo that we use in there. I was in correctional service as a correctional officer. Amen. So we will say this prisoner is singing now. When he reveals the secret. So those who don't understand that, they won't know what is happening. But we'll be saying, hey, this guy now is singing. You get that? So Jesus said to this guy, I send you out to do what? To proclaim. Jesus sent them out to go and sing. Because they're going to bring something that the other world doesn't know. Am I talking to the Christians? Am I talking to the Christians? So it's a man, Lord, what others don't know. Now go and sing. But people live as though they know. Yet they know nothing about this God. People need to know about God. And it is through hearing that they will so know. proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Come on, this is the task of every Christian. Drive out the demon. Proclaim the kingdom of God. Lay the hands upon the sea. Sure, what an honor. What an honor. To proclaim the good news. Lay hands upon the sick that they be healed. Drive out demons. Hi, come on. This is power. Now, two weeks ago, we spoke, we, we were inspired about the church in Thessalonica. And the Bible describes it as a small church. It was a small church. The formation of a church, by the way, 
It is not the presence of a pastor, apostle, or evangelist, or whoever. But the inception of a church, it is the heart of God. I gave a revelation. The heart of God is because because of the heart of it's God. not Naledi is there or Baruti Bateng Mr. Bakense and God is there in that space and if God is in the space there will be a church of God in that space I'm sick and tired of the numbers. I'm sick and tired of being disparate. That if we can have at least 15 middle class and upper class, we'll have money. My father's got silver and gold. My father's got that. But his heart, it will be where every time where there's a need. And the church will be there. It will grow little. And others that we are going to plant will grow. In the name of Jesus. So this church was small. But it's, it spread the gospel. Throughout Greece. Yeah. It made the gospel to grow. And, and the Bible says that happened during difficult times. So I gave you three characteristics. Characteristics three. Characteristics of that church. And with what I call O O D W. So it was a church full of obedience. To the weight. Dependent on the Holy Spirit. Dependent on the Holy Spirit. Yeah, don't depend to anyone sitting next to you. Anyone can come and become a member. Yet. Anyone can live before we end the service. Not living because it's going somewhere, but living you as shining light. Depend to the power of the Holy Spirit. And the third character I born, it was they were witnessing disciples, kind of people. They, they witness the power of God. I want you to watch this clip here. Can somebody switch off the light for a few seconds? Yes, yeah, so it's a few This is what we mean when we say disciple-making movement. A believer leads a person to an encounter with God through the Holy Spirit, and they start a life of obedience to Jesus through his word. But rather than going to a meeting, they are equipped and encouraged to take the kingdom of God back into their own social group. Because they are already insiders, they are readily accepted, and the word of God and the work of the Spirit spread through the social group. A family or affinity group actually becomes a fully functioning church where people are discipled and then, in turn, sent out to other social groups to make disciples. With no restrictions on buildings, meetings, or paid staff, the movement moves rapidly through their pre-established social groups in society. Families, workplaces, friends, community groups, student groups, sports clubs, neighborhoods, hobby groups, and even other religious groups. Discipleship both goes deep in each individual and social group, but it also spreads rapidly throughout society. Relational accountability is the glue that keeps people connected and submitted to one another. Passion for the Holy Spirit nurtures lives of worship and faith, and a commitment to obey the Word of God keeps people on the right path. A disciple-making movement. So this is what we mean when we say disciple-making movement. 
A believer leads a person to an encounter with God. I, I, I told you about three characteristics. So, which a Thessalonian church has. So, when you look into this clip, it, it shows one, 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 one person who's got the heart for the ministry. Then it shows you, welcome, Ruth Homos. It, it shows you the second person with the heart, but this person with an, this heart never had that heart mm. to tell her who has that heart came to him. So what depends? Now it depends on who's coming with what heart. To and now that is how we can impact South Africa. Small bit by bit, street by street, house by house, school by school, community meeting, community meeting. Everywhere we find ourselves, we are supposed to be the carriers of the Spirit of the Lord to impact Mapilong Abad. other people's lives. In so it says the hills are found in the dusty roads. And I we put a fella on this if you find what you text attitude on the, on the kind of attitude. life, you'll never be a hero. But the hero comes out of the dust. And now that's how we're supposed to grow. We need to have a hole. Not growing shining light. shining light. Believe me, I'm such a good recruiter. This church can be packed if I was to go out and recruit. But 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 recruit to get problem. But people who are recruited are serious problem. In this door, it'd rather be people who are touched by the Lord who come to this place. As you are seated like this, you are multitudes that I'm happy with. Because I didn't recruit you. And therefore, I don't owe you anything except the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Paul encouraged me to preach it in season or out of season without fear. And therefore, I'm free to preach it. So, Lewena, go and occupy the space that you have to come into it. The important thing is to realize that you need to have a personal discovery for yourself. Find yourself. Who are you? And once you do that, you obey easily. Ah, that's very good. Because when you don't obey, what do you do? It means you don't understand who you are. Okay? Yeah, I won't hear from him. It means hot or intimidating. You cannot listen to him. Ah, this lady, no, no, no. You, you, you are suffering from what they call low self-esteem. But if you understand who you are in the spiritual realm, the message. Get more then you descend in the spirit and say, Lord, thank you for this opportunity. Then you break every barrier. opportunity that God is giving you opportunity to break. As long as you are not a Christian, who believes how powerful you are not a Christian, who believes how powerful No one shall you pray for them to be here. You will pray in but life. out of a rap and light, with confidence, you won't pray for them of healing. You will not 
chase away any demon. You will enjoy watching seeing other Christians casting out demons. Hence, when Jesus has that they are following him, and he said, everyone carry your own cross. Then he said, what? So if you are in shining light, how the mona shining light? Because you like what you see. It doesn't impact you. Are you army? To go and do luen. Oh ye olo ye zai. Kubai. Sama. You are at the wrong place. Oba kense for say it. But your heart. Empa pelo ya heart. How ata mela mutomu. As you come close to someone. Just to impact the display. Etla mele ame moti. Just, just like this. Jalufe. And there will be, if we are jalufe, there's what they call consistent replication. Because there will be life-changing experience with Jesus. And the power of Holy Spirit will be upon you. And the bottom line of all this as, as I started, it's prayer. So be careful as you pray. What are you saying? Because you will be held accountable. Come on, so according to the words of our prayers. It's very nice to pray. It's very nice to quote. You know, there's what we call dangerous prayers. It's nice to be that type of person that's good. So you need to stand with that danger. There are breakthrough prayers. Be ready for the breakthrough prayers. Now let me show you. Breakthrough prayers. It's not for you. And it might be for somebody that you don't like. How rapelu horowe na hobe di romantics for you to have some romantics. You pray for the kingdom of God. How how you have some nice romantics. How you pray that in the kingdom of God. There might be a success. There might be a success. Whether them or not. But it is your prayer that, you, that made you see them succeed. <laughs> because the prayer is not yours. It's, it's, it's the Lord. Oh, this is nice. Amen. I never thought it like that. So you need to be careful what you say when you pray. One author by the name of David Watson says this. Ordinary people multiply disciples in their natural networks. Just ordinary people. That video, it's what it is. Imagine, imagine um, on a Monday, Monday, we are not sitting like this. We are not here. We are in different places. So imagine if we carry intentional the message. Uh, my my mentor taught said, me okay, don't be too loquacious on the gospel. Don't be forward. Skapapa. We're not seeing this. No, no, no. That you are saved. Have a discernment spirit. We're opportunity moment. And can I show you? You always, every day, every day, there's opportunity moment. Not even one, so many times. There are opportunities that you have with the Holy Spirit. But you need to see, obey, and do. That's what you need to do. Imagine tomorrow. Every one of us sitting here or hearing this voice. Begin to do that, because what, what, what is happening? Did you see what EFF is doing? Cleaning our mess in our streets. And there's one thing that I noticed. Not every people in the same street where there's a cleaning campaign 
go out and clean. But it's those who belong to EFF wearing their t-shirts. And it finds a heap of mess. But let me tell you, they know the goal. When election, elections are just about, they will remind you how good they have been physically in your street. And so how do you carry the message of the gospel? Uh, you don't witness so that that person comes to you to shine a light. You witness so this person he or she finds himself in the kingdom of God. And the rest will be hissed. Acts 19.10 This went on for two years so that all the Jews and the Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. Now, verse 11, I think. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul. Handkerchiefs, apron, healed the sick. And demons were driven out. That what Paul did. So shall we. I want to warn you about something. What prevents you to experience power of God? It is the banner that you put in what you are doing. Um, yeah, the name that you put. Or the condition of the sure, place is, where you are where oh, oh, you, need to do you are doing this for okay, the sake of what? It's very important. That can open or close because God cannot share his glory. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Because you can do more than what Paul did. We'll get to that. Now, this, this book where we, we read in the book of Acts. Paul also teaches people. Paul comes about and he experienced some form of opposition like Oko But through Paul's preaching, there was a powerful impact. So, from his preaching, the result that came out, we are disturbingly the practices of magicians. He disturbs those who are uh, uh, um, having a trade of making idols. Luke at the decade of 19 verse 24. It says one craftsman of silver. Who he gave all his workers a very fat way. Come, come on, oh, it's the date is up there. Read it in English. Demetrius, a silversmith who had a large business. No, who? Listen to that. He had a large business. He had a large business yeah. manufacturing silver shrines of the what? Greek goddess Artemis. Artemis. Now, after the preaching of Paulus, after Paul, because his heart was touched by God, and he went and 
came into contact with another group of people. Spread the gospel. Magicians' business died. The the craftsmen who were crafting the idols. Have you seen this, this fashion these days? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't, you have money and you don't have this. Um, uh, idol portrait of a uh, Buddha. Buddha. You, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's somebody who's, who made that and he's getting man. So Paul disturbed business. Now, go Thessalonica, Paul stayed for very few time, I mean brief time. Then he was chased out. But now, here, Something happened. After disturbing all this, because the Bible says that there were so many shrines. It's, it's like now, 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 where we are right now. There, there's a trend of initiation our siblings are they are not our enemies. Now that's a trend, but now the trend has elevated. Before it was like for people who are poor. But today that is for your celebrities. Again. So, what is it that is needed? It is what Paul did at Greece. So, we need to invade an impact. Now, so, the first thing is to destroy the magicians, the idol worshippers. The third thing that happened there, historically, it says after 40 years, Nahana, Paul also fixed After Paul preached there, after 40 years, Christianity caused that all the idols. Or worshiping centers of the idols were closed off. It's a historical province. After 40 years, what does this say to us? It is a process, not by might, nor by power, but by the power of the Holy Spirit that we can do it. We are way makers, change makers. Only in the hand of God. And our country can change. Let me repeat myself. The difference between the ministry and the movement. Church planting and the movement go hand in hand. If you say you're a Christian, you're supposed to be on a movement. You should reach or achieve something. And the way you've been working so hard is just but working to impress. You're not even aware that you have planted many churches. But if you're intentional, you say, Lord, use me in this space. I'm so disparate for a miracle in this place. Do it, Lord. Do it in this place. Look, it's not what you're going to say sometimes or what you're going to do. It is who is there. Oh. It is who is there. You are not sitting here because your heart wants to connect with me. You are here because you seek to hear what the Lord says. A miracle can happen at any place. You can even leave that place not even aware of that. But someone may come. Come Lord. I've seen the Savior. Somebody will come and would say, 
And this is what God is doing to those who avail themselves to be used by God. And this is the day that the Lord can do it more. On you. So you need to see the facts. Jale Oshokobona, the world with the eyes of Jesus Christ. I'm not saying because Jesus a coward. Jesus whom they are displaying is a coward. Jesus. A little idol sitting there, Jesus is not like that. He's a great warrior. Great in battle. Oh. And if he's on our side, we are more than conquerors. There's power in us. So, we rather subscribe to the movement than just a ministry. Now, in conclusion, Luke 9, verse 2. Luke 9, verse 2. I get a Jesu, Wawa Romela. He sent them out. Jesus sent them out. Jesus is sending them out. Wawa Romela. Jesus is sending you out. Wawa Roma. Today, Jesus is sending you out. Jesu, Wawa Roma. Where? I want in your head start to think that clip that you saw. Where is the place where the first sent? place where Jesus sends you? It is at your very home. Whether or rental or you are the owner of the place. Jesus is sending you to that place. He's sending you to your street. To that community meeting that you hate so much. Always when they say community come together, you don't go. Jesus is sending you there. Those people are so disparate for your presence. That's where he's sending. It doesn't matter if the leader of that thing is a Sangoma. It doesn't matter. It is the religion you don't believe in. He is the leader of the community. But where? Now your role. Because you have Jesus who's creating Bethlehem. You need to step with authority of that. He's sending you. And let me show you an example if you want to see if people know that you are a good Christian by itself. In every gathering, they will ask you to open with prayer. Luke 9, verse 2. Now, the words that you will say in that prayer are, will determine who you are. I was once invited in a 50th birthday party. And they say I must pray. Maybe both feel it after they get our water. Yes. Yo yo. We came to the challenge. Go bottle lots and let it die. Yeah. Karape. And the pastor started to pray. And I'm happy. On that sixty. Not long. He was doing sixty. He asked, "Why is that man?" I said, "Lord, we thank you for this birthday." As we gather here and celebrate, I am praying for for everything that is here. Fortunately, I knew what was on the menu. I started to quote the menu per item. Be truth. Whatever it will intend, can you be a camera? Yes. And if you see me, look, but what I will do, I knew they would love to hear something. But I was going somewhere. Karamudimu Tafulena, it's a little provision. 
this table is but I pray that uh, this alcohol let each and every volume you need to be smart and be respectful <laughs> let it be minimized that, that only that tagline <laughs> it makes people to question who is this person and they will come Nicodemusly to you Nicodemus after they will come to you, Nicodemus. They, they no, they will come one by one. Once they know your are So when I then you engage. Power. Authority to gain on your time. So go out, the Lord is sending you. The mission field is so huge. Wherever you are, God can use you. Shall you come, evangelist? I started and say that the, the Lord has blessed us. We are sending people out in this church. And fact, everyone is sent in this church. I send you out this, this, this day that the tomorrow remember that my lady has sent me in his authority as the spiritual leader in this church. I'm giving you a commission. Go and fulfill it. If you, can, if you don't know how to fulfill it, grab somebody before it was back and say, how do I fulfill it? Else, it's not in English, this dial. It's dial. I'm not in English. I'm not in English. Because I'm not in English. Vendor, Shangani, whatever. I'm not in English. Yeah, so I'm not in English. Else, you will know dial today. Yeah. That you go and impact somebody with respect about Jesus. Give me a mic shortly. Greetings, beloved. We, we thank God's grace. Muritu Ore, where God's heart it is. There's a church there. There will never be a church if God's God God. If there will not even be a church where your heart is, well, I just want to bring a new baby that has been born with shining light. Of shining light. I thank the Lord that we, we this new baby is born when we are at the moment of celebrating 20 years. Mm. Celebrating 20 years. And nothing that we can point at. It's discouraging. But I believe 24. We'll be celebrating now we have a baby. Outreach is a little bit. Those who are looking at it in the, with a flesh eye, it's like it was but a failure. But I will share That outreach is not like other outreaches. It was more with kids. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. 
uh, it was during the night. There were more kids. Others without school but shoes. But they were there so in that cold. Then, when you look at the God is renewing his taste. For when they grow unto the Lord, just imagine what will happen. Every time when you want to share God's word, you always think of an adult person. It goes with us all this. Where is it going? So I'm happy that I can see the arm, um, Lord of Babies. The Spirit of the Lord was in the place. There. If you are looking at it in a spiritual way, if you can look at it with the eye, there were not your 100 people there. Many times we are looking with the but naked eye. But the Waka came so fulfilled to see the kids during the night being there in that space. And Sunday, into that old time religion. In that old time religion. That separates a person with sin. It's on. It, 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 it separates. We, we, we are so busy with bless me, my Savior. You, you, you want to look who, who comfortable like a Which seat can I see? But that separates us. What's not to To connect with the Lord. We know that the Lord takes you from that dust and wipe you off. And you walk in a righteousness. It was a success. That the child of Shining Light he has been uh, born from people who know how to grow the change. Those kids came and said they didn't know they were invited. And the parents followed the kids as a result. We thank God for the Lord. Let's give Lord a round of applause. Mama said, come please. Please come, Mama said. Uh, we, we, we said we are on the move. Thank you so much for those who join us on YouTube. And go out throughout this week. And be the voice that the Lord wants to. God bless you from YouTube. Bless you so now, yes. we are a church that is on the move. So, um, I, I said we want to share with you. We are preaching as we are doing this. <laughs> so, uh, we want to share with you. Or shining light is on social media. How shining light is known on social media. Now, what does that say? So, so, when uh, us... Julia had a ballad announcement. When says Julia was reading the announcement, and yeah? touch the the, the Galadina. Uh, I'm a Galadina. I, I was sitting here, and I asked myself, how many of us, I tune in into this. And how many of us look at the cost and not the impact? And how many of us spoil ourselves? Look at me, Lampo. Can you see the pastor? Do you see that I spoil myself? I spoil myself. Because I love myself. If you love yourself, if you say you are a Christian, if you say you are a member of Shining Light, you, you need to be able to speak with us on one voice. Look, I can ask you right now, some of you, what is the theme of the celebration of birthday? I'm not sure you, you took note of that. 
We say two decades. Two decades. Put it up again there. Two decades. 20 years. Of shining. The light. Ah, come on. We are not saying shining light. No, now we recognize there's two decades of shining the light. You don't want to miss that rain. You don't want to miss it. Come and Hallelujah. Thank you, Papa Mfundis. Thank you. God sent Christ for the benefit of everyone. Christ died. On the third day, what that unveiled so now just as Jesus went he sent them out so Nati, we are being sent out to invade and to impact. Now, we are being sent out to invade and to impact. Has invaded Facebook, Facebook for the benefit of shining light. So as Shailenu Jehovah's Angels are Yes. So now, come along. It's all way. Jengova umfundi sati le train maingakshi. Trainen this trainen aske kya usi That is a platform for us to preach. Too many. There is a post SIN Zang Petega Muruti. That was twenty five January twenty twenty three. That post trended so much. But now we came supposed to a worship encounter. And the trend increased. If you can look there, look there 354 people that we reached. Just on Facebook, Facebook on that one night. So, we have to go to Ivangeli, we have to go to Abai, 352. Now, Guleo 352, what we want to make you aware of. What we want to show you out of that 354? Our audience or that's a correct it's, it's, it's youth youth and young adults and young adults but to 40 yes so between the ages of 25 to 34 that is our highest reach those are people who are checking shining light on the Facebook. Yes. We don't know them. As as yes. I follow. They then, follow us then. And the next one is the 18 year olds. We should it from 18 years to 34 years. That yeah. is our our time. Group 18 to 34 years. Keep out well more rabba fichelao. Now what we were not aware of. Facebook sent us a message. Now, Facebook has penetrated all the other provinces. Facebook is shining light. Facebook, we are now able to go to the provinces. They know about us. So now, okay, Pretoria, Jobek, 
Cape Town is next. Pretoria ke one kwa udimo Johannesburg then on the ya boitriki Cape to Cape Town. So what happened this week is that Tembisa line next door has also picked up. Se makatsang go ra hape beke yona ena Tembisa number yudi. Artsame. Now since worship encounter. O tlo fela ka busubo la banal prayer worship encounter. Night prayer. Yes. Recreate a new following. Recreate about to Baba Acha. Back to Langu Kenya. Seven hundred and seventy people. Seven hundred and seventy people. So wow. now the question which way na? What's your role? You, you as a brethren in this church. Are you following our page? Are, are you on our Facebook page? Do you follow it now? And remember, this is not about numbers. It's not a kawaya kaya kadi pa lo pa. I want to show you something. Kuna le soki bato bonsa so. We had a Mother's Day service. Na le Mother's Day service. That that number, okay, I checked tonight at 2 a.m. Mama said you check it out since na at 2 a.m. That service ibu hetsu ke ba tu. That service of Mother's Day was watched by 574 people. 574 people. So do you see how many people have how many people have been impacted? Those are people who were not with you. Come and ask them more. Never stay calm. So what Facebook has done for us? So it's a little so nice to see. It's a little bit more past the very narrable. Remember, we will always will put a, a child with the phone here do yes. Facebook live, yes. and that's a clip from that. So that clip, Facebook just captured that clip. Then we, we captured only that portion. And yeah, but but by faka kuma reels. Yeah, it can amo bona the video tse nya ne tse na in kile mini. We didn't do that. Aga ye tsa ro. Facebook did that for us. My Roy led Facebook yes. guys to do it. Glory to God. Asimbonge no Jehovah kule. Yes. So it shows that there has been an impact. So one person was impacted, two, three, and now as of this morning 574 people have been impacted by this. That's what he did. And we can only thank God. So now, our audience is growing. We sell it and now, ne? Audience are on, but by the time we shine light, we hold. So we only we are only left with three steps. Now remember, we were not even intentionally doing this. We never said it's in two hours. My game set up because I got short of the last half. Eh, but just the fact you which we we post. Those encouragements and the live services. All those military Kenyan did the video that it's available. So it shows which umuntu noma eshleli ekaya was with a tole in Vusele. Oblela Romanka manka pamang wakona ravitle let's have a little. So unga kabanguti uma uposta on your Facebook page yes. or on your status we are shala. You are ministering to someone. I'll sing in our how posta kafunya how it's a. So we invite you guys to go home today. Follow our Facebook page, not Uguti Siatlala, but so that you can help us propel this gospel. Uguti in Facebook, we are shining light. Oh, it's a my evangelist. So follow us. Galate. Like us. It's a delight. Comment on our page. Who are more? Who are so so to English? What's going on? Share the videos. We are trusting God. Uguti, there will be someone sitting here every day. Facebook living the service. Gadu me lo tabale mo cha duti mo na kona shebile the Facebook. So now on your Facebook page, post on your status, post. Do the same. We will now and then try and post your thirty seconds. I think that um, Mother's Day video is about fifty. Yeah, it's less seconds. than fifty seconds. Less, less than fifty seconds. It's less than fifty seconds, so that someone can be impacted. Just you being. Available to post, you will be saving somebody's life. Amen. Let's give Lord a round of applause. That's how a church that is on the move works. Yes, event. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't good news? Now let me say last line of a word. Then I'm going to ask you. 
This group in Lilleso, so Pasena, uh, that group at the back move. Uh, Luna on that side. Luna on this side. And you this side. Gather 